Senator Ludlam. All right. I'll just be very brief. Um, if we've got the right people in the room, that is. The um, correspondence with Mr Hunt prior to the election, the coalition is proposing, paraphrasing, no changes to current legislation in regards to uranium mining. I think Senator Waters might have traversed some of these areas about bilaterals and handing back powers to the states. It was a very clear commitment of the government um, that uranium mining and nuclear power uh, or related issues under the nuclear trigger would stay firmly in the hands of the Commonwealth. What on earth is happening? in Queensland, for example, where it appears that the government's now fast-tracking um, the devolution of those powers for assessment and approval back to the state government in Queensland. So Dr Bacon can take you through the status of negotiations of the approvals bilateral with Queensland and the scope with the right. other jurisdictions, Senator. Uh, Senator, mm -hmm. in relation to the, the EPBC Act and the provisions relating to accreditation of state and territory processes under an approvals bilateral agreement, there have been no legislative changes uh, in relation to matters, uh, the, the nuclear um, matter of national environmental significance. I'm well aware so, of that. Will there be? Uh, not that I'm aware of, Senator. Uh, the, the legislation provides for the ability to accredit state and territory assessment and approval processes uh, in relation to the, the nuclear um, matter of, of national environmental significance. So that can happen without any changes to legislation, but it was stated very clearly prior to the election that that wouldn't be occurring. Is it occurring at least in the instance of Queensland? Uh, Senator, the, the scope uh, in relation to the draft approvals bilateral agreement with Queensland that's currently out for public comment uh, indicates that uh, the, the scope of, of that agreement includes all relevant matters of national environmental significance. So Queenslanders were lied to before the election. That's a direct contradiction to what was said. Senator Birmingham, do you want to take that one on? What is going on? Well, we don't have the minister's correspondence in front of us, Senator. So, so, sorry, Senator Ludlam. Senator Williams was, uh, was talking to me while you were asking that question, so I didn't quite okay. hear the Fairly clear detail commitment. of your question. A very clear commitment made that as part of the handback of environmental powers, that the nuclear trigger would be quarantined, it would stay in the hands of the Commonwealth, and now that appears to be directly the opposite of what's occurring. Mm. Um, Senator Ludlam, you're, you're not, you're, I think as you said at the outset, you're, you said you were paraphrasing, it, but it doesn't sound like you're even paraphrasing, you're, uh, you're making a statement without providing the, uh, the information there. Um, well, I won't what, paraphrase uh, what, then. I'll, what the, what I'll, the quote di I'll quote directly. The coalition is proposing no changes to current legislation regarding to uranium mining and nuclear power plants. Under the proposed streamlining of approval processes under EPBC, our intention is for uranium mining to be one area where the federal government would retain control and would not implement a bilateral approval process. That's not paraphrasing, that's a direct quote. Okay, well, thank you. Um, well, look, we, uh, uh, we are not proposing changes to, uh, to legislation, uh, that's, that's correct. Um, there is, through the process, consideration uh, to um, giving the one-stop shop the broadest range of approvals possible. That's not what um, was said by Mr and, uh, and, and that could include such actions um, if and only if the states and territories demonstrate their processes meet um, uh, the requirements of, uh, of national law. Um, uh, it's important, and maybe this is where qualification was lost in detail or something. It's important to appreciate that uh, uh, the Commonwealth also intends to retain responsibility uh, for approvals relating to um, uh, Commonwealth land, uh, marine areas, uh, Commonwealth actions and, uh, and the like. So, um, uh, but uh, um, the drafts of the uh, approvals bylats are of course uh, um, out and uh, there to be assessed. Okay, well, it's in complete contradiction to what Ms. Minister Hunt was telling people before the election. I'll leave it there and Senator Waters... Se Senator, Senator, Waters. Se Senator Ludlam, while, while I've got you to assist you in, um, uh, in other matters um, before another committee, just to follow up on the information we discussed in relation to Ranger today, yeah. uh, just to uh, uh, again restate that uh, it's the government's intention that ERA is uh, held fully accountable to meet its rehabilitation liability uh, at, uh, at Ranger and full environmental requirements under the Atomic Energy Act of 1953. Uh, as you'd be well aware, the uh, requirements require the Ranger project area to be rehabilitated to an environment similar to Kakadu National Park to allow its incorporation once mining operations have concluded. 
uh, as we discussed, the Department of Industry requires an annual assessment of the security needed for ranges rehabilitation in line with the environmental requirements. That security is independently costed by a third party assessor uh, based on an assumed premature cessation of mining yeah. on the 31st of March of each year. Okay. Uh, the current assessor uh, is appointed under contract by the Department of Industry uh, and that is QS Services. Um, obviously, uh, you can ask questions to the Department of Industry about the work of that assessor uh, and the processes that they go through, uh, but that uh, is a process of, uh, of assessment and verification that has continued. Okay. And of course, as you'd be aware, ERA is currently undertaking various stages of progressive rehabilitation at the site, All particularly right, on pits one and three. We're very short of time, so but thank you very much for providing that. That's